At a health post in Lamela, Malawi, an important study is being conducted which could change the way we treat malnutrition. Currently, there are 178 million children in the world who are stunted. Stunting is a condition where an individual is much shorter in height than all healthy individuals of the same age and gender. Any child, regardless of race or ethnic group, has the potential for optimal health and physical development. A common belief in the global health community has been that stunting is the result of inadequate dietary intake coupled with an excessive exposure to disease. Yet numerous nutrient supplement programs have been unable to reduce this stunting epidemic. Basically, children in sub-Saharan Africa, especially in Malawi, have this condition called enteropathy. Their gut is so inflamed, so they're not absorbing any of the nutrients. And the international community right now doesn't really know why kids have this and how to treat it. Gastrointestinal health is the ability of the gut to absorb all necessary nutrients effectively. A major threat to gastrointestinal health is a condition called environmental enteropathy. Enteropathy is prevalent in a substantial amount of seemingly healthy, poor children living in the developing world. Health experts believe this could cause stunting in children under five. The children are born and they live in this environment which is dirty. So um, they live with chickens, they live with goats, there's feces everywhere. So it kind of makes it that their gut is inflamed compared to you know, the clean environment that we grew up in. So this occurs in a microscopic level and we don't really see it clinically until years later. So the gut gets inflamed, then it doesn't absorb any nutrients, and then the kid starts getting malnourished, and then we hit the muak of 12th eye. We, then we're like, okay, this kid is malnourished. So we're seeing if we can track all the way back and treat this condition first. The St. Louis Nutrition Project has spent years working to discover a better way to treat environmental enteropathy. Dr. Maneri has done a few other studies that has looked at this condition, and one of the previous studies we looked at zinc and albendazole, and that seems to have improved enteropathy. And then we also looked at micronutrient powder, which also seems to have improved enteropathy. So this time he wanted to combine all these three interventions to see if there's a bigger improvement. The results of this study, along with many more, will provide health experts with a better understanding of how to effectively treat environmental enteropathy. As a precursor to malnutrition, controlling this condition could seriously reduce the global acute malnutrition problem in the future. There's an improvement. Like many moms, when asked, they are saying that our children are growing healthy. They are not uh, falling sick as often as they were doing before. They are growing stronger and they are plant there, yeah, they are being checked every time. So that checking, which is done regularly, is also encouraging the moms that, oh, our children are always, uh, we are all, always praised that uh, your children are going well by Alfred. Your children are going well, so they, are, they get that encouragement and they are happy. I am the one. Whenever there is a problem, I come to Alfred, especially the, ch the child who is in, in program here. So I consult Alfred and then we, uh, we, we find ways how to assist the child. And the child is not complaining of anything else. It is just fever and they are enjoying things. Yeah, let's yeah. give her a law, try it again, hydrate, the child needs to drink. So is it okay? We is it okay? I'm using some of your law to help these children. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. okay. So many children have malaria right now. Those are the mosquitoes. Yeah. Thank you, Ron. Having this opportunity to actually man a project and meet all the people you meet, all the you learn from the different culture. Um, definitely gives you a bit different perspective, how you approach things. If I want to do international work later on, these are important lessons to learn.